Wait, Jazz. It's because I have luck as well. So you're one of us? This is the first time I've ever seen you. <laughs> My little <laughs> That's right. That's not his hand. You're not Nagito. A classroom? It's just a simple graduation exam. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Are you ready? You still eating cinnamon? Uh-huh. You, you can start recording, though. I have. Oh. Oh, good. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to, um... Hold on. <laughs> this is Hayden right Ugh, now. <laughs> That's me fucking filling my fat face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a gift. It's a cinnamon bun. That's what I'm eating. Yeah, this is... That's my tea. That I'm having a little bit of... Oh, thank you. Okay. Hi, Monokuma. Monokuma, get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to Oh, him. there it is. Yeah, there click, is. click on him. No. Oh. I know. I just couldn't find my cursor. Oh. Okay. I knew you could do it. Yay, Monocoin. Okay. Um, well, back at it, I guess. Let's just start looking. <laughs> Literally nothing at all to notice in here. I wish that they had music from the last game for okay. this section. It makes Whoa. sense. Okay, we're on the fifth floor <clears throat> already. So is no one going to acknowledge all the the glitching? Yeah, because they, they don't know what's happening. They don't? Like, it's weird. It's weird enough that this is happening to Hajime, but the fact that it's also happening to all our friends and they aren't saying anything about it is weird too. It's like doubly weird. Yeah, that's weird. supposed to be like the sort of sort of Twilight Zone aspect of it. No, yeah, I like it, but it's weird. <laughs> you see, that that's weird. Mm. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but <clears throat> Sonya's here. It's clearly different. Yeah, because Sonya's here. And nothing else is weird about this. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to <laughs> us again? I don't know what he, how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me big big down. <laughs> You're smacking your lips. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you like uh. it? That's my glitch noise. <laughs> it sounds like Porky Pig. <laughs> Wait. This hallway has a strange feeling to it, no? Uh, it looks weird when your eye starts <laughs> rotating up and down. <laughs> As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. <laughs> I am concerned. Is it just me? I mean, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You are pretty... You're all alone in this one, sister. You're all alone in this. Okay. Bitch. So the headmaster's office is over here. And this okay. part isn't glitchy. I think Never that's mind. where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> that's the headmaster's office. Mm. Wait, go down it, coward. No, I want to check that there's nothing else to see. Okay. Though I have a feeling this is quite lin dojo. Dojo. Wait, are we gonna see Sakura there? Uh huh. Just downing her protein shake. Goo 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 goo. Uh, oh, it's hi. one of Fumi's things on the floor. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Oh, that... Oh, never mind. It's not. It's the history of Hope Speak Academy. Yeah. A manga by Ma Maronsi. Hmm. What is this? Besides exactly what you said it was. Is this a manga? The title is... Oh, for Moronsi Mar by Monokuma. The manga for more. Oh, an, that's an a, exclamation point. A history <laughs> of Hope Speak Academy by Monokuma. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the middle in the open like that? <laughs> Let's start with history first, class. Hey, um, reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then, what's the first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person. I mean, history is written by the victor. Just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. Show me the <laughs> contents, coward. 
I really want to just ignore it. No, you don't! But there's no way I can do that. Yes! <laughs> Fine, I'll look at it. Look at anything that might be a clue to getting us out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. <laughs> I farted. It made me laugh. Anyways, it's an introduction to Hope's Peak Academy's history as narrated by the cutest character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope's Peak Academy. Show me the inside. Show me. The Hope's Peak Academy is... A government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can attend. Uh-huh. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. Uh-huh. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are... Hope Speak Academy's teachers, who serve as both instructors and researchers of talent. I, I, I realize I didn't say instructors, but I, oddly enough, still said the same words. Um, yes, it was educators. Yeah, I know. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talent. It is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system. Hmm. We kill them. Oh, the reserve department. Mm -hmm. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the reserve department utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the reserve department. The expenses and exam- Is this really in manga form? It's kind of the most boring looking manga I ever. I was thinking <clears throat> about that it was- <laughs> Yeah, it's all like exposition, so it's like, check out this awesome manga, it's a great way to learn history, and you open it, it's just a novel. It's just- No, what I'm thinking is like, it's just pictures of buildings, and like, dudes mm. standing in hallways, and like, <laughs> it's the most mundane shit. Mm -hmm. The expenses and exam fees for the reserve department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Pe Hope's Peak Academy received an endless stream of applications. Hope's Peak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. People like me. <laughs> mm. With this, Hope's Peak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. Yes, what we've learned from history is that <laughs> one person will save us all. <laughs> yep. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I remember this from the first game. <laughs> That's right. It was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. What was it again? Like one person died? What was it? I mean, I don't know at this point. It's n it's still not clear. Okay. Well, we thought it was with the was the classroom of of dead people. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But that could just be like a precursor. That could just be like a normal day in Japan, I suppose. I've never been. <sighs> oh wait, no, it's a normal day in America. Sorry. Hope Speak Academy yes. was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. See, that's what America doesn't do. Oh, the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's, okay. Great, I feel like I learned a lot. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly canceled in the middle of its run, like most manga. Mm -hmm. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of this manga. You can just call it a novel. Do they just mean a novel, but it translated weird? Mm -hmm. The Tragedy and The Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> these names are so melodramatic. Ugh. There's no way these incidents really happened, right? What have you been experiencing for like, I don't know, months now? And it's so unbelievable? This manga only mentions the name, so I don't really know the details, but... No. It'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. Aren't you doing research right now? Shouldn't you be wondering? More importantly, <laughs> I learned something because of this manga. <clears throat> the 
the reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve course students, right? But hold on. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. I never <laughs> left. Ah, the thing that's mm. weird is you, of course. And the motorcycle, hey, it's hey. coming right for me. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Why, did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The Future Foundation only took away your school memories, right? But you should know, even before you entered, that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that, too! What do you want me to say? Hmm, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those reserve course students. I got it! Or you're willingly sealed, you willingly sealed those memories yourself. <clears throat> you wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that. <laughs> Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Come on. When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserve course student. Okay, Nagito, stop piloting the mm. mech. Come out. Damn it! What the heck? What the fuck? <laughs> reserve retirement. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's very important to Hajime, but I really don't I care do. that he's a reserve department. The so. conversation was like... I started thinking about something else so deeply that when I came back, I was like, where am I? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's really, I literally disassociated. It's What's like so on? not important. Whoa. Whoa. That was cool. Did, did you see what I saw? Like, <laughs> Yeah, his whole face became one. Yeah. This hallway is kind of creepy. <laughs> I can't go to places that I should be able to go to. It's like some rule is being enforced for no reason. <laughs> Why is he so giggly? <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. <laughs> uh, uh, he falls over and gets a bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> Why did only Kazuichi die? <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm just, oh, I can strafe. I just borked my head. I could, I could strafe this whole time. What the hell, dude? Dude, you need to, you need to, you need to try. Hey, Kazuichi. What? Wow. How'd you do that? <laughs> I can't. Whoa! How'd you become a crab boy? That's amazing! You're a crab really, boy! All, all of this, and I can't go in the headmaster's room. <laughs> I'm sure walk you can. In the walk. I'm sure you can later. It gave me an achievement that makes me feel like they're trolling. Uh, what is the achievement? Oh, you thought that the headmaster's. It's it was it said walking the walk. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. How do they mm -hmm. do that effect, I wonder? Okay, well, what else is on here, then? You know what? No, I think that that effect they're doing, the glitch effect, is like a particle that's set. And it's on, oh. like, a random variable timer. So it's just capturing the screen that's immediately in front of you in real time. And then on a random timer, it just, like, bursts out a certain number of uh, pixels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I just, like... <laughs> just, oh. I'm nerding out with the physics of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is another manga. What is this manga town? And and you know what's the craziest part is at the end we'll make a manga from all the manga we've read. Whoa! It's another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Uh, this one is uh, hmm. manga for morons. A tragedy of Hope Speak Academy, huh? Wasn't the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? That's why Host Week Academy went bankrupt, and, uh... It was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. Hmm. If I read this manga, the guy on the cover will shoot me, and I'll be able to learn a little more about the incident. 
<laughs> this guy looks great. Looks, yeah, real good. <laughs> <laughs> I took the manga from, it looks like a uh, monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages. Wait, this is hentai. What? I, I, I'm putting this down. Oh. <clears throat> To see what I could learn about the event known as the Tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. I like how the last one with the, the magical girl wasn't in time with this one. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's so hot. Yeah. The story made heavy use of outdated stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. I'm sorry. What is outdated stylized designs? I need to see a few of those. Because <laughs> 1980s anime looks good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe they're talking about 70s. Or, oh, maybe they're talking about 60s. Oh. Ah! What's written here is... As the name suggested, the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy occurred at Hope Speak uh, Academy. The key player mm -hmm. in that event was a student named Izuryu Kamakura. Wait, we know them? That's the name of the old guy in the portrait in the funhouse, I believe. Okay. Izuryu was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Hope's Peak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Yeah, he was the old guy. The founder. Uh. Supposedly, Izuryu was a genius among geniuses. And there is no why in Izuru. Izuru, uh, Izuru was a genius <laughs> among geniuses and possessed various talents. Ho oh ho! Wielding, <laughs> that's him possessing the talents. Wielding the blade. Wielding superior talents for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Azuru as the ultimate hope. And then Nagito got jealous. Nagito <laughs> read that and started running around going, ah, oh, call me the ultimate hope. Ah, uh, I'm going to kill myself <laughs> if you don't. Ah. Uh. <laughs> mm. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Azuru's origin and identity. How respectful of his talents. <laughs> <clears throat> because of that, most of the students at the academy were completely unaware of Azuru's existence. But Azuru, who was known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students of Hope Speak Academy's student council, among the academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Azuru. Okay. So it is Saw. <laughs> However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Azuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. Okay, so wait, so is this the... Is this the origin of, like, this game? Is this game was created by the Ultimate Hope as a way of weeding out who is truly the best? No. Nah. That... No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> because none of the evidence that we have found points to Azuru being responsible for this. Well, I mean, I but mean, he, he killed he could all be, them kids. But not because of that. Because the... Because the, the killing school life is based off of a punishment for the rebellion. Uh-huh. That's what we know about it. These yeah. people, it, it, I think the reserve course department revolted, and then the rebellion caused shit to happen, and then as a retaliation, the killing school life was made. Wait, wasn't the killing school life, I mean, if we're being so literal, wasn't the killing school life just started by what's-her-face and... Like, as far it's as highly, we know... It is highly unlikely that Junko started this. I because mean, Junko is not Monokuma, because mm -hmm. Monokuma is alive. But Monokuma is also, like, an alien or something? That has not been proven. If anything, he is a mass-produced robot with a strange hive mind. An ability to... But they definitely... Um, but we definitely saw, like, images of them, like, stomping around and destroying buildings. We saw, like, a kaiju sort of thing, but, like, that doesn't mean that they're aliens. I guess not. I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where they made the giant robots in this game, and no one is really reacting to them appropriately. Like, I, I see a giant kaiju and I assume aliens, not a guy built in. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know. This is a world where people have ultimate abilities, it's so. It's true. Well, they don't 
They're not superpowers. This doesn't. It's fine. A certain student <laughs> began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. Ah, you see. Right. Yeah, clearly some sort of apocalypse. Azuna. Apocalypse has happened. The the only evidence that we have for this apocalypse is that Monokuma was responsible but for it. But Izudu probably inspired it at the very least. Uh, yeah, that's possible. The student that uncovered what the Academy did and by making that knowledge public, mm. it struck the fires of reserve corps students who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. Oh, so it's their fault and the uprising began. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And that Harold Hope's Peak Academy's destruction. It's your fault, Hachime. This is the it this is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Who's this guy in the story? <laughs> no one. Just how the magical girl was no one. Eventually that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating event when the man shot you at the end of the manga. <laughs> The incident that would be known as the biggest, most horrible, Skeletor awful, tragic was event like, yes. in human history. <laughs> and then the skull goes, <laughs> Work cited. Dongan Ronpa, zero. Ooh, is that the next game? Is it going to well, be that's a prequel? The, that's the first time that I think the words Dangan Ronpa have been ever in this game. Like, it canonically. Means, it means Happy Gun Havoc, right? Or is that just what the first game means? No, that's the name of the first game. Uh, it means bullet accusations. Ah, uh, okay. With a heavy sigh, with I heavy closed sigh, the, manga. the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's Oops, no I way 13 on. people were killed at Hope Speak Academy. Yeah, no, only seven people no! were killed <laughs> on Jabberwock ah! Islands. What irony! Ah! Ah! I hate it so much. For a genius I'm known as the insane. ultimate home to cause such a gruesome incident. A talent like that is so regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a gold with a bar of gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should be lucky that you're so incompetent. This is Monokuma Theater in disguise. Damn it. He always, <laughs> it's he always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But ultimate <laughs> hope? Nagito mentioned that before, too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. Yeah, Nagito is an upstanding guy with a good head on his shoulders, but Izuru, hope simply means talent. Yeah, Izuru is stupid. More importantly, a genius who possessed various talents. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, maybe not stupid. I wish they'd mm. given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. Man, isn't it great to be Priorities. born with talents? That's right, the reserve department. Priorities, Hajime. Here, it said that the reserve corps students and the reserve department began uprising. Is that what I did? Then what about mm -hmm. me? Am I a rebel? <gasps> Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. Anything's possible. You don't remember anything. There's no way. <laughs> I have no reason to do something like that. I wish they would like d try to logic through anything at all instead of just going, that can't be true, hands on hips. That's stupid. Anyway, <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've learned about the tragedy of Hope Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? We already yeah, so that clarifies the tragedy was the killings and the biggest, most tragic, most awful event is something else that we don't know what it is. Ah, uh, fuck me. And who's this other student <laughs> that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage? Who is that? Was that, is that Junko? This incident is really messed up. It was definitely all, a dude. All it's doing is raising more questions. Maybe Junko was trans, you don't know. The mysteries just keep mm. pilling she up. She was pretty fucking mean to, to Chihiro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she transitioned correctly and Chihiro was halfway through. <laughs> Let's not get into it. <laughs> She's mean. <laughs> She's I, a bitch. I said it. The mysteries just keep pilling up. Oh. Pilling. Just keep peeing up. All right, where am I going to be now? Uh, oh, still on the fifth floor. What else is here? Old building. I think uh, I think stuff is opening periodically. Maybe it stays it is, on the fl yeah. fifth floor, and then the headmaster's office is gonna be the grand finale. <laughs> I love turning. Oh it's my so god! Quick. Where's Kazuichi? 
Are you open? Okay, it is now. Okay, it wasn't a troll. Uh, raw. Raw, don't, whatever that means. Don't scare me. Oh, I thought this was the headmaster's office, but it, well, you it's, thought it's the morgue. What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. Calm down, Hajime. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. Well, then... I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. Pussy. Uh, let me slowly pick up this manga and read it. <laughs> I've been found. Be very, very quiet. What is on the table? That looks ritualistic. I, it's fucking, I don't know, goo in a cup. Have a drink. This looks like a plastic <laughs> tarp. Why is this left out like this? Clean up after yourself, will ya? Wh who? <laughs> Nobody lives here! What a time to be judgy. Can I actually select these, okay? I've seen this in movies before. It's a refrigerator for preserving dead booties. At least that's what it looks like, but that's not possible, right? Why? Keeping Why dead is it bodies. Not possible? Keeping dead bodies in a high school bio lab isn't something you should joke about. Wanna fucking strangle <laughs> your pencil neck, Hachime? It just feels so forced. <laughs> this idea should have been canceled during development or something. <laughs> I'm writing a letter to the board and oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> Where, was there a bit of in-office contention about there being a morgue in the home speak? In the school? Yeah, that you could just wander in on. Ooh, it's Jinji Ito. There's another manga just laying around here. <laughs> this time the title is Manga for Morons, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in history. Tragic event in human history. Oh, oh. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most okay, awful, yeah. most tragic event in human history. Just what was the incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. <laughs> I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. I like how frolicky and frugal Hajime got there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. I get to stare at this while, <laughs> while I read this. Uh, okay. The text can come up now. <laughs> reminds me of Saki Sonobachi. Um... Mm. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrific events. Yeah, like the boy that becomes a slug, or the shark with spider legs. Some of Junji Ito's stuff is, is just stupid. <laughs> An incident mm -hmm. known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? No, Japan just likes fetishizing that. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, the, <laughs> the beginning of this creepy manga, I'm right, <laughs> of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. I thought you were going to say that Japan likes horror. <laughs> they <laughs> no, they make it very specifically. They don't have to. They just like to. <laughs> mm -hmm. the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy, uh, big words, was intentionally <laughs> hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. Ooh. The community was not limited to students, and ver people of various races and nations began joining in. It's like that time the Japanese girl uh, became uh, a killer, and then everyone was like, wow, she's so cool, and the rest of the sane world offline was like, she has, like, a mental condition. Don't harass this woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. She was, like, uh, I think, like, 10, and people started making, oh. like, like, artwork of her as, like, a little 10-year-old girl with, like, blood on her face. People in Japan, like, online, and it became mm. like, wow, she's so cool, and they, like really, really glorified her, and everyone else was like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> the okay. <laughs> the movement was not... I'm sorry, I, I almost wonder if that's what they were talking about, because it was sort of like... It was a thing that went around for a while. Um, but the movement was not confined <clears throat> to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormality, ab abnormalities soon came to light. <laughs> 
By then it was too late, the end, and the means had vanished and wanton destruction became their only goal. I'm so lost. The strong butchered the weak. Okay. The weak killed the weakest among them. <laughs> and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivil times when senseless death were the norm. The media was oversaturated with death to the point where people would watch them while eating a meal. <laughs> By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. Okay, so I, I think this is connecting to the murders. A feeling of immense despair mm. began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and... Coup de tats? Coup de tats? Coup d'etat. Coup d'etat? Is that what that is? Okay, it began occurring around the world. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the long version of a coup. Okay. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Pure war. And because of that, war. there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation <sighs> is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy. A group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talent for the sake of mankind's hope, <laughs> they use them for the sake of like mankind's this? despair. Because <laughs> it's more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they use them for the sake of despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. <laughs> My mother baked some <laughs> cookies in the oven to spread despair. <laughs> my mother I took a photo of my cute dog to spread despair. <laughs> my mother intentionally burned my pancakes to spread despair. Spread despair. <laughs> and with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Imagine, if you will, as long as <laughs> ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. Uh, so it started by students <laughs> for uh, seemingly no reason? <laughs> they said public well, not, unrest. Not no reason. Um, where it's unclear is how it got... Like, the world managed to spread to this point, which is up due to the ultimate despair who did something. I don't know why everybody was like, Yeehaw, Monokuma, let's go! They. But it does make sense up to this point. To summarize, Hope Speak Academy created somebody with multiple ultimate talents. Um, and that person went crazy and decided to start killing people. Hope's Peak Academy covered it up because they like talents more than untalented people. The untalented people got furious about it, decided to revolt. The revolt spread across the world. All right. <laughs> Capiche? <laughs> it's it, similar to the first game. As I start hearing the explanation, I'm still not fo really following it, but I guess I get it. <laughs> um, it's it's that, like, uh, the, the explanation still sounds so vague that, like, mm -hmm. it still feels like it happened for no reason. Well, we're still missing some massive chunks because it yeah. feels like it... What it happened for no reason, the end of the world, because we don't know why. Yeah, well, why was the ultimate despair a thing that could affect people so much? Well, and before the world ended, I mean, maybe they'll go into more detail, but before the world ended, they had some throwaway line about like civil unrest, as if like they were just provoked because everyone was just tired with society, I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a theme here about like the gifted and the the not gifted, but we don't know if that was a thing that extends to the entire world. Mm-hmm. Is there? Like, our talented people being given special treatment across the entire world that people just became so furious and so sick of it that the straw broke the camel's back? Does it have absolutely nothing at all to do with that and Hope's Peak Academy was a random thing that made people go crazy? I don't know. <laughs> it's driving me bonanas, and it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most uh, awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it has to be on purpose at this point. I mean, if this is really true, then what happened in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, mm. the, the cookies I buy on Saturday, the nearby bookstore, mm. my favorite restaurant, McDonald's. What's happened to them? No way! No, <laughs> skip all his dialogue. I guarantee it's not gonna be useful. Are you, uh, hey, well, are you? Let me at least burn through it. All right. Are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would, Who would en- enjoy reading something like this? Well, what? Oh my! You don't like manga? <sighs> a high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Ha! Huh? Enough! What is this messed up manga? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but hmm, for you not to remember that, oh, such a spare. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks for stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brain. This incident really happened and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. What are you How many times saying? do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real. Yeah, you know the clues? Of the thing in a book that I put on the floor. <laughs> great clues, Monokuma. That I wrote. That really is a great way to convince somebody. That I wrote myself. <laughs> yeah, that literally says, by Monokuma <laughs> on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Please understand, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> if you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. <laughs> I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. I did not give the last group the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted. On the one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate, but on the other hand, I'm worried that you guys will be scared when you go outside, so please read my silly manga. <laughs> There's probably four of them, because that makes sense to do them in an order like that. He's trying to make us feel despair toward <laughs> the outside world. Because that makes world. sense. Because <laughs> that makes sense, I, and also because I wrote four. And you will read <laughs> all of them. <clears throat> He's trying to make us feel despair towards the outside world, so, we won't, so we'll want to stay on the island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. <laughs> Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hell. Just like me now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perhaps no. That's definitely it. Yay. Yay. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? They're devoted to a Fenrir, that's what it was called. Wait, what wait, wait, what? Fenrir, I remembered what group Mukuro is in. Oh, okay. Uh, if they're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope Speak Academy to its destruction. <clears throat> Are they connected to the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? Okay, Hajime and everyone in this game, tell me the difference between the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> Why did they name it like this? No wonder we keep being like, what's the tragedy? <laughs> The, there's, there's the tragedy, and then the tragedy that's the most horrific, horrible, awful event in human history, mm. but nobody wants to say that every time, so we shorten it to the tragedy, so you have the tragedy and the tragedy! Of Hope Speak Academy! What is this game? <laughs> uh, plus the organization isn't just one the person. The sucks! <laughs> but a group of people, hooray. Is it a bunch of teenagers? No, I guess they'd be adults by now. But if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? Well, no, they don't stay perpetually high school students. It's bad news, folks. <laughs> that doesn't happen, even if you rebel. 
Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. <laughs> then are the killings... Then are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? Ugh, it's no use! I'm gonna freeze to death at this limit! I need to get out of here! I mean, no one's... <laughs> I gotta get out of here! She let me out! Fuck! Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. I didn't do anything! Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> Phew! That was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? <laughs> so this long that hallway- That was fucking crazy! Where should I go next? <laughs> this is fun. I think on your left? <laughs> Uh, 5B? Yeah. <sighs> uh, wait. Yeah, Despair. this is different. Hello. Why? Hello. First of all, hello, Fujihiko. Second of all, why is that sign to say despair like it's the opposite of a violin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why doesn't it say a cello? <laughs> yeah. That, um, a cello is far from the opposite of a violin. I'm sorry, uh, uh, guitar? That's still a string instrument. <laughs> the, yeah, but it's, like, bigger. <laughs> sure. <laughs> also, you play the Whatever cello. You say. Also, you play the cello with, uh, with the stick, you know. You play the violin with the stick! That's what I'm saying. They're opposites, but one is bigger than the other. They're the antithesis of each other. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That was the most like that was the most brutal scream I've heard from you. <laughs> I can't have you do this to me right now. Um, okay, okay, okay. I'll just read my lines, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. I can't I, I can't th deal with it. This is After all of the shit this game is throwing at us. This, this is going through Amber's mind right now. No, I should ignore it. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see him. <laughs> hey, Fuego, how the fuck are you? I'm great. Jeez. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He was fucking pulling a manga out of his ass. <laughs> Keeps glancing at me and flashing mangas at me, but I can't read. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> it's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do it either. Let's leave. Yeah, goodbye. Hiya. Well, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasantly well. Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, White! <laughs> what are you doing here? No, no! Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. I mean, the one that you did to look kind of cool. But I was not allowed. <laughs> I wonder if all three were based on specific styles, like each manga. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. One was Magical Girl, one was like the old mystery noir, mm. um, maybe like an 80s style manga, and then the last one was a horror. Yeah. If it's ba it, it looked like 80s, so if they were implying 80s looks bad, I'm, I'm going to go over to your house and uninstall this game for you. I mean, I think they said it looked outdated, but I've seen people use that style still. Mm-hmm. Out. Dated. A high school student <laughs> who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up! What do you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so key long piece? for. What? Surprise! It's about ultimate despair! Great, I have to read it in his voice. <laughs> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, actually, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was one of the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. <clears throat> it's not like I'm not interested in, like, the story, <laughs> but turns to camera that's not there. 
Hello, aspiring writers of the world. You ever heard of an exposition dump? <laughs> you ever heard somebody say, don't do that? <laughs> yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> We literally just walked around and read novels <sighs> about what the lore is. <laughs> And the thing In a is, mystery game. <laughs> and the thing is, like, I'm sure there's like hints. I'm sure there's fans out there that say, "Oh no, there's hints throughout the game." I believe that there are, but those hints there are are, yeah. are meant to be like appreciated on like your second viewing, and yes. the information itself is meant to be conveyed in sparing bits sprinkled throughout the entire narrative. The entire narrative so far, I feel, is just there's a killing game on the island, and then we just learn about all of our classmates and then they die. Like, I mm -hmm. feel like we barely got anything up until this point, except for maybe the future foundation. <laughs> yeah. But we learned that in the... Didn't we learn that, like, almost at the beginning? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We, we learned it around the middle. I, fe I feel like, like we just learned... Like, maybe when we get the... the file at the we roller coaster could, we could have like literally learned about the like the future foundation early on like maybe the second case and then at some point there, learned about the awful horrible bad thing by like halfway through the game and it would have meant as yeah, much here's the thing they literally broke it cleanly into four parts yeah you did not have to give this to us all at once instead of the entire game being like you remind me of this person, or <laughs> this is like that thing, and using pronouns instead of names or anything, you decide to be vague as shit so that it's like fun on yeah. the on the replay. I do enjoy that on replays, but I wasn't like but but when they had like these mystery, like vague sort of hints, it was like sort of some cute foreshadowing mm -hmm. or part of the mystery that we were about to periodically work our way through. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what bothered me so much about the the last trial of the first game, is like, we are all set up to solve this mystery, and then it just gives it to us. Yeah, it just says Why? it. Why? <laughs> it's a mystery game! Uh... We have been spending this entire time! figuring out who murderers are and what happened when we didn't know what happened before because of the clues. And it never occurred to anybody <laughs> that maybe we should find clues and then piece them together to figure out what the mystery is. It's like, I, I know that uh, the people that make Danganronpa have said like, ah, we're bored, we, we don't want to make any more. But if someone was going I to- why! <laughs> well, yeah, no, if someone was going to make Danganronpa, like, again, I think conceptually it's a very good game, but the moment-to-moment -moment stuff is really sloppy. So if anyone was to take the Danganronpa concept and, like, try and make their own version of it, I'd say go ahead. There's a lot of room for improvement. This is not, like, a mm -hmm. touch untouchable series. I think if, yeah. like, you love Danganronpa and you think, oh, man, I could make something better than this, you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be, like, and mean, but there's a lot of potential here. To, but, God, they... To, uh, remind, to remind everybody, <laughs> I love this series, yeah. and I really think that it's a, a very engaging and super clever and, like, a game that I care about a lot on like a nostalgic and like emotional and because they have done well to get me attached to these characters both the first game and this one and probably onward but when it comes to fucking prattling on and dumping exposition on people this is the worst thing i have ever seen <laughs> <laughs> It's, um, I, I feel like what they wanted to do was character stuff first. Because the character stuff the characters is usually are great. great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when they have to do the main plot stuff, it feels very obligatory. The fact that. Why and, even bother? And, and we should get off this, but my, my yeah. closing statement here is that uh, going from room to room to find the ending uh, pieces of the plot told to you in big expository dumps is incredibly similar to the ending of Star Wars Nice Old Republic 2. I'm going somewhere with this. 
At the end of okay. that game, you are told over the course of the game, oh, there's this horrible planet where a horrible thing died and millions of people were murdered on this planet. It's basically a giant graveyard. And it's awful, and you can feel like they're dead spirits haunting you and all that stuff. Like, it's terrible. Malachor 5. Um, they play it up for the whole game as this awful place. And then you show up, and it's like one very long road of basically nothing with you occasionally talking to people who crash there who you know and they tell you expository stuff and then you go to the end and you see the main villain and then you beat him and then literally they give you a list of everything that you need to know at the end of the story and then credits roll and the reason they did that <laughs> is because they literally the studio ran out of money <laughs> <laughs> The fucking, I love that game. It's a fucking worst ending that they could have ever done for that game. It's such a pile of shit. That's what this feels like. It feels like they ran out of money. It feels like you ran out of money, Monokuma. Where's the budget, Monokuma? I mean, I'm sure it's a bit exhausting for some people to hear because I do get protective over mm -hmm. like the stuff that I love, but. We have been playing this game for a year. For so long. It's a long time. <laughs> and yeah. I have been ever patient. Mm -hmm. When we started this game, <laughs> and I'm sorry that we're talking about this for so long, but you know what? This is we're near the end of the game. We're uh -huh. gonna talk about this while the credits are rolling anyway. It's true. Uh, hopefully there's not an amazing, awesome reveal after I press A, otherwise people I are know, shooting themselves. I know, right? But <laughs> wait, 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 we'll get rid of it. Actually, wait, Amber. We'll get before, rid of it for you, so you don't you have to look at it. Wait, actually, Amber. Before you continue your point, just press yep. A. Just, okay. just one press A. No. Okay. Go Great. on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when I first started this game, having gone through the first one, knowing that it's the way that it was, I put on my hat of. <laughs> Of like, Knowledge. not optimism, because I knew that it wasn't going to be any better. And it kind of was, uh, because the first game was really horrendous about that. Mm. Um, but of like, acceptance. I accepted that this is the way that the game is. But the thing is, Dingarapa is so long, it wears you down like water <laughs> erosion. Mm. And that, after a certain point... You can only read so many, huh, what, and repeating <laughs> what a character has said before you start to go completely batshit insane. <laughs> <laughs> and this has happened. This... But I'm mm -hmm. sure what you have to say, Monokuma, is very interesting. Mm -hmm. This is, again, <laughs> I, I, we, we are very passionate about this stuff, not because we came straight out of that guy with the glasses and just want to tear down a game mm -hmm. because we know it's popular. Oh, no. We, it's like, oh, we, no. we're passionate about this because we care, because there's so much about it that is good, that when you get to the main plot and it's such a it's such <sighs> a big dump, it's frustrating. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It, people seem very invested in the lore of Danganronpa of like, oh, you gotta figure it out, you gotta wa play the third game and Ultra Despair Girls and read the extra stuff so that you can get every morsel of lore. How did this world happen? Meanwhile, I'm over here like, if, Dan if the first Danganronpa was just a killing school game and there was no explanation or any kind of allusion to a bigger thing happening, I think I would be fine with that. <laughs> I mean, it, it's sort of like Metal Gear Solid in that the plot is not necessarily really smart. It's just very long. Yeah. Man. And to be fair, the reveals in the first game were, like, really cool. I liked the the reveal that it was a broadcast and that mm. it's the end of the world. And when the door opens, we don't cool. know what they see outside. It's all very cool. Um, and I'll even say, are really, like, really awesome twists. Shit, uh, the shit they've been doing with, like, uh, Nagito on the boat with, like, a lady hand and all that. Oh, yeah. That and was really interesting because weird, it was a dialogue scene. Yeah, and like the glitchiness and all this. Glitchiness like, is cool. So far, this is still my favorite uh, over Danganronpa 1 just for stuff like that. Also, I feel like Nagito is way more interesting than most of the main cast of Danganronpa mm. 1. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Something crazy is going on there. Uh, I just want to get yeah. through all the Monokuma shit and just t just yeah. just tell me it's what's like going on. We, just <laughs> It's like when we skipped Monokuma theater like blah blah blah. Nothing, Good it's, god. It's not interesting <laughs> at all. 
a high school? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Junko! No, it's Junko. Wow, we should have hit A again. We never would have known it was Junko. <laughs> Hey, um... As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor. I don't know about charm or really humor. And created mm -hmm. the ultimate despairs. Oh, a band. Oh, she started a band. A beautiful dance group. <gasps> there was uh, one really horrible person <laughs> in that group. Don't fuck with uh, me. Hold on a sec. Wait a minute. Hey, hold on. He like starts walking, crawling over the desk. <laughs> hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. <laughs> Fuyuhiko? Babe. <laughs> darling. When I look into your eye <laughs> and I tell you that I love you, I mean it. I am going to throw you across the room like a chair. <laughs> There's no way people could join some fucked up organization created by high school girls. Unbelievable. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait to share by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest uh, echelons echelon. of power. Some of these words, yeah, like, echelons. you know them until they're written, and then you go, wait. <laughs> right. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. Uh, she kind of looked trashy, dude. I was not into her the moment <laughs> I saw her. So, so she, she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? And what was her purpose? Huh? What? Like I said, you. why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. <clears throat> <laughs> they had a power, right? There's no way they do what they did without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko and Oshima's despair. Okay. For Junko and Oshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set principle, a way of life, or an incident. Despair is what defines Junko and Oshima as Junko and Oshima. Or is it Enoshima? Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> I'm a stuffed... Yeah, 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 Enoshima. I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Junko Enoshima is full of such... So much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving. For her, everything is despair. Uh-huh. Hmm. With her overwhelming force of personality... Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hatred, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> and so the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became, became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Oshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Oh, fuck off. Like a mo mm -hmm. like a mother providing food to her children. Uh-huh. It's like Jeebus when he made the fish and he said, uh, go get your <laughs> own. <laughs> <laughs> they dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair all in Junko and Oshima's name. For example, Phew. they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. Uh-huh. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something they had to do. Yep. Wow. <laughs> uh, actually, it's very believable. Have you ever heard of the Manson family? Hmm? Do you know yeah. <laughs> about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Hope Peak Academy? <laughs> 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 Just press A. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in other words, Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Stalin, Obama. Uh, hit, uh, hey, what? Of course. They fulfilled their roles as disposable limbs. They believe in what they needed to. 
<laughs> and so the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What'd you say? All, t <laughs> all of them? That's a lot of students. <laughs> all 2,357. <laughs> Down to the number. <laughs> Point three. Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. Okay, so it was 2,356. <laughs> Haj Hajime was like, uh, nah. What, huh? Is that me? I didn't get <laughs> Suicide is no laughing matter, Aiden. Oh my god. This No, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> They waste so much what, time. What about this? Is a ridiculous. This is. Oh my god! I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Juko and Oshima. It doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Bastard. Juko and Oshima's already dead. How do you know that? Ooh. Wait. Where's her arm? That picture needs to be updated. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Fuhiko? So anyways, Fuhiko... Can you not believe uh, it? What's up with that despair thing? Did you make that? Is it true what you said? Juku is really dead? <laughs> what? You didn't see? It was a book called The Manga for Morons Killing School oh. Life in the Bloody Classroom. Sure, you get the interesting one. A bloody classroom? No way. What was that you said about killing school life? Cool manga. Like the, kill like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened in Overspeak Academy. I think that's probably for Yuhiko. Yeah. No, you go ahead. I've been reading a lot. You go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I as I water. recall, the mastermind, as I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat it. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Good going, me from the killing. Fem, fem me. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. Oh, wait a minute. Are they referring to the first game when we made a manga? Uh, according to that, really. the mastermind behind that. You know, I wish we found that. That would have been cooler. Yeah, they could reuse the same drawings. Yeah, just get the assets. Uh According to that, the mastermind behind the failed uh, Killing School Life was Junko Anashima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Anashima is dead. Junko Anashima! <laughs> it turns out that Killing School Life was a part of that whole biggest, most awful, whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope Speak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope Speak Academy, and she took away their memories. That's just like us! Wait a minute! Whoa! Apparently, the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. How come... I the mean, surveillance I, cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? I guess none of you would have memories of that, would you? The students of Hope Speak Academy yeah. are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. That's crazy. D actually, it backfired because everyone was like, yeah, this is so cool. We should make a video <laughs> game out of this. <laughs> but that messed up plan was stopped. Junko Inoshima fail. Yeah, she sure did. After killing what? T almost they 10 kids? They reached over and pressed the off button on their television. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, I don't want to see my child <laughs> to be tortured. <laughs> I'm turning this mm -hmm. off. Junko lost they to the- They put a blanket over the TV. Oh my God. <laughs> Junko lost to the student she placed in her trap. And after being overcome by the despair she created, <laughs> she took her own life. Is that what happened? I barely remember that that whole case. Kanjunko is no more. Yeah, she presses the execution button on herself. Ah, uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> no matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. 
Yeah, don't worry. Charles Manson died in prison. No one else will be just as bad as him. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard! Junji, Junko Inoshima isn't alive anymore. <laughs> I'm not afraid of her. Junji Ito is dead. Junji Ito died in 1998. <laughs> oh, the misery. Mm, then who is our enemy? <laughs> Hello. Junko Inoshima is already dead. Are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Oh. Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were involved in resembled that killing school life. Hmm. Well, I don't know who the <laughs> hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... Hmm. An imitation is just that. An imitation. No breathing. No shit. Mm -hmm. If the students from Hope Speak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. Faker. But if this is really Im an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Live? Killing School Live. Halfway there. Halfway! Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? What? Do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh, well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag. What do you mean, raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, One step at a time, exciting. you're getting closer to clearing my character route. You're not making sense again. Well, now. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside of me. He rips open his chest. Yeah! I'll mm -hmm. raise them flags like crazy! Do I have to talk to you? What? Well, it seems what we've given up Do you on hear about changing the, ultimate... the background. Do you want to hear about the ultimate despairs again? I'm so sick of No, the... I don't really need you to. Hey, Even um... though the term ultimate despair refers to the group these days, it was actually a term used to describe Junji Ito, the original Ultimate Despair. Uh, are we just going through the same shit again? I just like how, she, how she's fully Junji Ito now. Oh my god, did I say Junji Ito completely? Yeah. Holy shit, I'm so tired. I'm tired of this room. I know, me too. Just started on his own. As the former Ultimate Despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor. It's the same thing. Okay. And created, created the ultimate, ultimate despair, despair. So charismatic ability. Ability. Attract people. Man, she's so powerful. It's like the oh, Joker what? baby in the Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. Remember when... Uh, I apologize for making you read that again. <laughs> remember when Junko Enoshima stood next to the burning money and was like, it's not about money. Hey, it's about sending a message, huh? It changed mm -hmm. to different hallway again. Ooh. 